And here with more analysis, let's bring in retired Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters. Colonel, thanks for coming on the show. I think this is fascinating because you're in a situation here where we have these threats, obviously. We could do something about them, but now will we even have access to the information? Do you believe Apple should comply with this court order? Well, 100 percent. I mean, like Hillary Clinton, Apple cannot be above the law. And I am revolted by Tim Cook's pretense and an ethical stance on all this. He's protecting the American people. No, Apple is protecting terrorists and drug cartels and, and murderers and, and criminals. I would love to ask Tim Cook one question, Jerry. Mr. Cook, if the people you love most in the world were murdered and one of the killers dropped a smartphone on the site of the murder, wouldn't you want the, 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 the cops or the FBI to be able to read the data on that phone? I mean, this idea that he's protecting the American people is nonsense. He's protecting Amer uh, Apple's brand, and he, Apple is selling products to some very, very bad people around the world. This, look, I worked in intelligence for over 22 years, Jerry. We don't spy on the American people. We don't do it. We just don't. We protect the American people. But this myth has been propagated that the government's all, always snooping on us. So we, the tech giants have turned us into a nation of narcissistic exhibitionists posting nude selfies all on right. the Internet and then <laughs> worried about the government snooping on us. Well, I hear what you're saying, and, and I'm really taken by your comments and the FBI director's comments that the people who are really benefiting from this are pedophiles, they're murderers, they're yes. really and truly bad guys. What is, I don't really understand why, the, why these companies, Apple now getting support from Microsoft, why are they being so defiant in the face of this, of this government effort to, to unlock one cell phone, just one cell phone? Well, because secrecy sells. And this is for Apple, this is about branding. I mean, every, you know, it's, it's selling to terrorists, but it's also selling to every pathetic husband who doesn't want his wife to know he's, uh, he's trolling porn sites. I mean, we have an obsession with secrecy, and we've lost sight of the fact that bad people are exploiting these secrets. Now, I don't believe everything should be out in the open. But I do think that Congress is eventually going to have to come to terms with this, and we're going to need some sort of licensing form, mm. because we simply cannot allow, cannot allow terrorists and drug cartel leaders and mafiosi to use this secrecy against us. And as uh, Director Comey pointed out, and you alluded to, down the road, there's going to be a terrible incident, and people are going to cry intelligence failure. We are hamstringing our intelligence system and preventing our intelligence personnel, who are real professionals, patriots, from protecting Americans. Tim Cook is not protecting Americans. Tim Cook is protecting Apple. Well, I, you make a good point, but as I said, all of Silicon Valley seems to be lined up against the FBI here. Yeah. And ISIS, just let me mention quickly here, and I want to hear what you have to say yeah. about it, direct threats against Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, leaders of the tech community. Isn't it ironic that those people are, are, are being threatened, and yet they don't want to do what they can to help fight the fight? It's about business, and it's certainly ironic. And hypocrisy, thy name is Silicon Valley. Because while they spin this myth about the government snooping on us all, um, in fact, who are the great data collectors on Americans? Google. Google. I, I served in the military for almost 22 years in military intelligence. The government has all my military records. Google knows more about me than the federal huh. government does. Okay. Uh, Facebook, all of them, they're, a, they're the ones that are stealing our data and selling it and profiting from it, and they're blaming well, the government. I, I, can, I can just see the emails coming in now. It's the NSA. They have all the information.